A 2022 study looked at dry needling for neck pain in active trigger points, passive trigger points, and then distant needling in down near the leg. And what they saw is that needling in any of the muscles, uh, even the distant needling, was able to show improvements in pain and function and disability. The group that was needled in the active trigger points at one week did the best. The fact that you can needle anywhere and have an improvement in pain and disability suggests to me that the mechanisms behind how dry needling works is not just what's happening at that local tissue. There's probably a neural influence in how the brain responds to the nervous system, dealing with fight or flight and rest and digest type modes in our autonomic nervous system, and there's probably a neuroinflammatory component. Certainly needling locally when it's appropriate might make sense because we can uh, have a large impact into that sensory nervous system as well as some of the neuroinflammation around that pain site. But there's times where the increased soreness that often comes with local needling or twitch responses, which was also demonstrated in the study, just doesn't make a lot of sense. And since we know that distant needling and needling in that area can also have an effect, we need to have options when we're doing our dry needling treatments.